So what do you think it is? Apple juice? Soup? Tea? Could be sweet tea. Oh, it's old gasoline. Hmm, stinky too. All right, so the mower's up on the trailer. It's kind of just uh, floating. <laughs> and I opened up the carburetor a little more, just wanted to see it, see if it was clean. And I was working off of the gas coming out of the, uh, the Musty One system. Here it is right here. Pretty cool, huh? But now I am going to go ahead and fit this uh, broken off fuel pump. Go like that. And see if I can get gas coming out of the gas tank to run the mower. All right. I've been thinking there's a tenant who every month he's always late on rent. There's always a reason. The last reason was a was a genuine, the real thing. Death in the family. And it was real, so um, you know, I I let a lot slide, but I definitely I'm gonna let that slide. I just don't care that much. But, um, about the money. <laughs> but uh, I'm noticing a pattern that no matter what, whatever break I give the guy, he's always just late for you know, partial rent payments. And things are very tight. I don't have a, a, a ton of money. So, uh, I don't know, he's causing a problem and I don't know how to get through to him. Most people would say you throw him out. And I like the guy, but I have to do something. There's a vent right here. There's a, a, a pulse that the pump uses. Comes out of this uh, head right there. And I just hooked up the vent. And we're gonna take, uh, I don't know if you can see, the fuel line to the, um, to the gas tank goes this away. And then the carburetor fuel line is going to go this way. I'm going to cut this end a little bit. But getting back to that one tenant, I don't like the fact that these people think that I'm rich. I plan to be rich, but I have less working money day to day than they do. And uh, it, it bugs me. With this guy, he seems to always have a broken car. So he's spending money to fix the car, justifying that like, like a spoiled child, like, well, I need my car to go to work. This is true, but his parents maybe would have uh, accepted that, but I'm not his parents. And by him not paying rent money, it's, it's causing, like, I can't get the maid to come out. There are houses where I provide a maid, and uh, I do a lot of the cleaning myself, but I can't do all of it, so I need the maid. You know, that actually worked. Huh. I'm using used uh, lines, because I'm not 100% sure that this is all going to function the way it's supposed to. And the broken tabs on this fuel pump, we're about to zip tie that in place. Zip ties are very popular on YouTube. <laughs> so, this back to this tenant, I'm going to figure something out. Um, I've talked to him in the past. I like the guy, I wanna help him. We're not talking about a kid, he's 50 years old. He should have his head on straight. It's partially on there. His priorities though, you, he doesn't work on his own car, he takes it to people and we've fixed his flat tires for him. And this is a different we, because I'm talking about what's going on in a different town. And I, 
I've sent a guy out to help him a few times. He should always be t checking in with us about what his next car repair and see if I can get it done for him cheaper than the way he's blowing money because he's basically blowing the rent money. That's my view. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at a different part of this project. Well, a little time is passing. This is a uh, handlebar set that came from a Florida from <laughs> came from a mower from Florida. This mower came from Maryland. And it's got pieces. I think this carburetor came off a different engine that came from middle of Virginia somewhere. A few hundred miles. And then there's a couple little bits and pieces that have come off of different mowers. I'm really surprised. Every time I need a part today, I seem to have it, with the exception of this. I went and took this from a friend. So this is a, a tensioner pulley that's uh, tensioning the two pumps with the engine. Probably saying that wrong. It's tensioning the belt between the two pumps and the engine. I'm gonna put this on real quick, and then uh, I'll show you, I freed up the blades I took a, um, a, a fine-tuned dentist's tool and then after I got them freed up, I, uh, I was able to grease them. They're going to need to be greased some more, but there's some grease in there. Okay, I will, uh, oh and by the way, I've got the, a replacement, uh, fuel pump but we're going to use this one for the time being it's running the mower this will just be around okay I'll uh, I'll bring you back in a second
Now that's how to fly an airplane.